And so when I got there, was it a birthing center in Adelaide? Now I've never been to a birthing center. I said, sure, I'll play a birthing center. I didn't know what a birthing center was. And it's where like a midwife goes and, and women give birth. So there's all these women that come in and they're nursing babies. And on the walls are pictures of all these women like with their legs spread apart and babies coming out. The whole thing is just like crazy. So I walk in and the woman with the dreadlocks, total hippie dot dreadlock, really nice woman goes, now I'm gonna give you a tour of the place. And she goes, into the uh, kitchen. I go, can I have a cup of tea? And she goes, yeah, and all they have is milk that's like fresh out of a cow, like unhomogenized. And so I gotta pour a little in my tea because Canadians pour milk on their tea and it's like cloggy. And I go, so I start getting grossed out drinking the milk. And I go, do you have anything else to eat in here? Because I was hungry, I open up the freezer and she goes, oh, don't go in there, that's frozen placentas. Because, so I, I shut the freezer really quick and I got kind of grossed out and they were serving this veggie lasagna. So I started thinking of the frozen placentas. So. I said, why do you keep frozen placenta? She goes, well, after girls get birth, they eat the frozen placenta like for iron. So then there's all these girls breastfeeding during my show. And in Australia, these hippie girls that were breastfeeding, rather than just having one boob out, just have their full tops down. So there was like probably 14 chicks with boobs, like swollen <laughs> boobs breastfeeding in front of me. So I, I was playing, I was getting really distracted. And finally I go, I'm sorry, you guys, but I swear to God, this is better than being at a strip club. I know this is boring. And then it's like, because to them it was just like totally normal. So anyways, this girl got up to sing with me, to sing the song you were meant for me. And uh, she got up to do a duet with me. And she's breastfeeding her kid. I go, did you want to sing on this song? Because she said she did. And she goes, yeah, I do. So she's sitting next to this other woman who has her top down. And she just takes the kid off her breast and gets it to that one and puts it on that woman's breast. So the kid goes into that woman's breast and then she comes up to sing with me. Well, I had to go to the bathroom, so the girl said she'd do a couple songs. And so I sat back down and watched this girl sing, and then this woman came in with cake balls that were on the popsicle stick. And I was so hungry, they were chocolate cake balls. I took three of them, and I was eating them like a pig. And then one of them, cake balls, chocolate thing, fell off right into my crotch, right there. And I didn't know where it went. So finally I could see I had all this melted chocolate, and I go, shit, so I gotta run to the bathroom. So I go into the bathroom, and I get some toilet paper to wipe off the chocolate like this, so I'm wiping it off, and it's on the white toilet paper. And then I, I go, I take the toilet paper, and I go, God, that chocolate's really good. And right then, these two women bust on the door, and I'm going, and I was licking the chocolate, and so then they looked at me, and I go, I'm not eating my poo, this is chocolate. And the girl goes, and so I just go, well, you eat your own placenta. So. It was a horrible experience. <laughs> and when I got up there, I know they were looking at me, and I could see they go going, that guy eats his food. He's not that cool.